In the South Bay, back to school just kicked into high gear as students returned en masse to San Jose State. KPX 5's Kit Doe takes a look at the COVID protocols and impact on local businesses. San Jose State welcomed tens of thousands of students back to campus today, and they are not being shy about it. And welcome to the first day of San Jose State's fall semester. 36,000 students and 4,000 teachers and staff will be coming onto campus in some fashion, making it one of the largest concentrations of people in the South Bay. Uh, I feel pretty safe around here. Is it weird? It's definitely weird. Senior Jerome Holloway lived on campus when it was a ghost town and says today has been an adjustment. Are you doing the, the handshake or the elbow or the, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing more head nods and, you know, if there's engagement, maybe a fist bump. Like every other campus, students must wear masks indoors, regardless of vaccination status, and outside as well, but only if it's hard to socially distance. The CSU system is requiring all students and staff be fully vaccinated by September 30th, with some medical and religious exemptions. What's more, classrooms will be kept vacant for 30 minutes in between classes to allow the air to refresh multiple times. And I know for many people, there's still great anxiety about being back in person after having been uh, away for so long. We will do so in a way that is safe, that keeps health and safety at the forefront. Third and goal, Starkle to his tight end, Dees, six touchdowns. If you recall the Spartans' historic 2020 undefeated season, winning the Mountain West Championship was quickly derailed in the Arizona Bowl. Down and it's a when five starters missed the big game, likely due to COVID, and they lost. Quarterback Nick Starkle says this season, nearly all of last year's starters are coming back. Our team very close to getting fully vaccinated, and we are, uh, we are excited about having fans back. For Nirvana Soul, the black-owned cafe that opened up in November, just as much of the state was going into winter lockdown, has survived, and the surge of students will likely be good news. I think it's going to be the difference between kind of making it and um, starting to be, you know, a little bit more uh, profitable. So, scraping by versus thriving. Yes, exactly. It's weird, but it's great because I know that means we're one step closer to getting back to some normalcy in life. In San Jose, Kitto, KPIX 5.